Today is gonna be crazy. I'm gonna go and buy one of the most aggressive freshwater fish available in the aquarium hobby. And yo, I can't wait. Now, the super aggressive fish that I'm talking about is the red wolf fish. And the last time I went to visit my local fish store, which is Wholesale Tropicals, they actually had two of them. And ah, uh, I wanted to get one immediately. Now, of course, I couldn't because all of my aquariums are community aquariums. And if I put the red wolf fish in any of them, it yeah, it will just be a massacre. However, funnily enough, I did have a spare aquarium laying about, which is this one right here. I was actually planning to set this up and move all of my fish from my fluval flakes into this aquarium because I was planning to do something else with the fluval flakes. Now, naturally, this plan has been pushed back a little bit because, of course, I want this red wolf fish. So last week, I took this aquarium and I've set it up and it is now cycled and ready. Now, for full transparency, in order to speed up the cycle i did add in some of my cardinal tetras and a few of my cherry shrimp and yeah i'm not really sure what's gonna happen when i add the wolf fish in i'm hoping that the wolf fish will leave them alone this is kind of going to be an experiment because my plan is to eventually keep this red wolf fish in a community setting but yeah there's going to be a lot of experimenting when it comes to that now before anyone says anything i know this is a 56 liter aquarium and it's not big enough for a full grown red wolf fish however the red wolf fish that i'm getting is a juvenile and that is going to be okay in this aquarium for at least a year having said that it's not even going to stay in this aquarium for a year i do have a new aquarium that i bought recently from fish planet which is the dual 110 and that's going to be set up right next to this aquarium so i'm only going to keep the red wolf fish in here for a few months and once i've saved up a bit more money i'm going to set up the new aquarium scape it really nice and then put the red wolf fish in there but yeah anyway i've been waffling for long enough let's go to wholesale tropicals and pick up this red wolf fish All right, cool, and we are in wholesale tropicals, and the fish I'm getting today is right here, the red wolf fish. Now, people, I'm not gonna lie, I've been walking around the entire store trying to find something to go with this wolf fish, but hey, there is literally nothing. These fish are way too aggressive. Now, I did consider this banjo catfish. Sorry, no, it's not called a banjo catfish. One second. Oh, the Achaesis Vespa. Um, right here and yeah i was thinking maybe you could hide in the sand and you might survive the wolf fish and that but yeah i've been advised that it's probably not going to work so it looks like the wolf fish will be the only fish in that aquarium now do keep in mind we do have a few cardinal tetris in there so i'm gonna have to see what we do there but yeah today we're just gonna get the wolf fish and yeah by the way if you're wondering why it says sold to mr scoops i did call ahead and they held the wolf fish for me which was very nice of wholesome tropical shout out to them because yeah they did have two when i first saw them and then like, i came back a week later and then the other one was gone And we are back and people, 
I've got the red wolfish right here, man. Are you ready for this? Oh my days. Uh, they did put some food in there with him, of course, so he's got a nice little comfortable journey home. Probably won't be able to see him because he's double bagged and that. But yeah, this wolfish is going to go into this aquarium right here. Um, let me... Whoa. That rubber band went somewhere. I don't know where. But there you go. Let's try to get this off. Alright, cool, there you go. Nice. Alright, so here is the wolfish. Don't know how good you'll be able to see him. Uh, there you go. Oh! Oh my days! Look at him! Ah! Alright. Um. Oh, okay, cool. Let's open this up. Alright, I know this guy is a jumper. He should be fine. Alright. Let's get him acclimated. Um, this will be interesting, so let's put him inside here like that. Oh my god. Yo, oh my days. Nah. Okay, wait, I need to show you guys. Look at this beauty. Oh my god, yo. Absolute beauty. Now, of course, there's a very high chance that these Tetris will end up as snacks. Same for these cherry shrimp right here. There's about five cherry shrimp and five cardinal Tetris. Yeah, I, I am hoping that these cardinal Tetris will be all right. It is a bit of an experiment. Oh, oh crap, okay. Oh, he's gonna jump, he's gonna jump. It's been about a week since I've had this wolfish and yeah, a lot has happened in the past few days so let me just talk you through it. So when I first put in the wolfish, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I thought he was going to go after the Tetris immediately. But it seemed like they were all fine. I mean, of course, the wolfish was a little bit stressed out, so naturally he was hiding a little bit. It's the first day, but there were many moments where the Tetris literally got so close to its face and yeah, he didn't really do anything. It looked like it was gonna be calm. So yeah, even though I was thinking about taking the Tetris back out and putting them back in the flex, I thought, well, hey, let's see what actually happens. So the next morning I went back into this room and I checked the aquarium and and people, all of the Tetris were still inside. Every single one of them. I couldn't believe it. And we also had like one single like silver fish. I don't know the name, but it's a small silver fish with blue eyes. But we only had one. And he usually chills with the Tetris as well. So he was in there as well. And 
yeah, the Tetris and that one spare fish, they were all doing fine. And the wolf fish, he was just kind of chilling and exploring the aquarium. And yo, I'm not gonna lie people, I genuinely thought this is it. Like, this is what proof I can keep this fish in a community aquarium. And yo, I was so excited. I did try to feed the wolf fish, but he didn't seem interested at all. So I kind of just fed my Tetris and I thought, let me give him another day before I try again. And yeah, people, that's where this amazing little combination of Tetris and Wolffish ended because the next morning when I came back into the room, all of the Tetris were gone, literally every single one of them. At some point in the night, this Wolffish decided that, you know what, I've done enough chilling, it's time to eat and he saw the Tetris and he went after them immediately. And yeah, well, I guess we could say that was a failed experiment straight away. That, I was going to leave this for another video but I thought yeah it happened so quickly there's no point in doing a separate video on it. I'll do a little bit more experimenting when we set up the next aquarium which will be the forever home for the wolfish. <laughs> but yeah for now it looks like anything I put inside of there is going to end up as a snack. I mean don't forget we also had some cherry shrimps in there and they also vanished. At this point there's literally just the wolfish in there and yeah let's see how it goes. <laughs> 